Greetings! It is I, Tantus Naravan Jacobin, Lord and Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, and welcome! It is time to continue our discussion on D20 Modern, the modern take on 3rd edition Dungeons and Dragons. So where we left off, we started talking about the basics of advanced classes. Today, I'm going to tell you all about the different advanced classes. I'm not going to go into details of what you get for taking those advanced classes or the requirements for them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of them, which hero suits them best, so you have an idea if you want to take them for the flavor of your character rather than the mechanics based behind it. You can look those up on your own. So let's start talking about them. The soldier is first. The soldier is best suited if you are a strong hero taking it. The soldier is all about this balance of combat abilities, about balancing out your ranged weapons and your melee weapons, and being able to combine both of them together to master your combat expertise to its maximum level. Their entire mentality is to eliminate the enemies, accomplish the mission, and survive. Now the martial artist is also well suited for a strong hero. They are all about at least mastering one martial art, basically being a master of one of these martial arts. And this balance of being able to use master your self-defense and combat when it's needed, about balancing out both mind and body in a spiritual sort of manner to the maximum potential of yourself. They are masters of unarmed combat, but they also know to use some various ex exotic weapons, like a nunchuck. Now the gunslinger. This is great for being a fast hero. Now they are masteries of guns, pistols, and various other ranged weapons. They're all about mastering themselves. Once again, it's mastery of their mind and body, but their entire point of that is to make the gun an extension of themselves. They make great mercenaries or even something like a modern day knight doing the right thing with their skills. An infiltrator is the other advanced class that's great for being a fast hero when you move into it. This is all about those rogue-like skills, the skills that you need to get into a place, to do certain things, and to be very stealthy and undetected while doing it. An infiltrator will make a great cat burglar, or even a spy. But the entire point of it is, is their entire mentality is that they're able to break into a place, get into a place, however way they do it, get what they need in that place, and then get out. So the daredevil would be great if you are a tough hero. Again, just noting that any of these classes you can take as any heroes, I'm just giving you the ones that are best and easiest to take with that type of hero. But the Daredevil, they're a master of understanding when to take certain risks and how to take those risks that they'll be successful at it. So it's a mastery of being able to do things like stunts or tricks that I can make physical stunts and be successful with them or something like vehicle stunts. You're going to be able to know how to take care of these stunts if you're told you have to do it or it comes up to circumstance you need to do it, how to do them successfully, and be able to repeat it the next day if it's needed. Now the bodyguard, the bodyguard is another one for a tough hero. They excel at protecting and safeguarding and also the mastery of knowing security and understanding it. They know how to keep something safe, but they also know how to, they know the tactics of a situation when it's needed and when to use force if necessary. They basically, when a, they know how to try their best to avoid problems, but when one comes up, they know what to do in order to solve it and get past it. Now, a field researcher would be great if you're a smart hero. They're excellent masters of scientific knowledge and scientific thought and very great problem solvers. They move out into the various locations in order to do their research. They're researching things, learning things, and solving problems in field-based situations. They rarely travel to a lab. They can also specialize in a single topic of research that they're interested in, or have many interests or many topics that drive them to various different places when learning information. Now, a techie is also one that goes very well with a smart hero. They are basic masters of technology, whether it's a single type of technology or any technology in general. They have this pension for learning about the various devices and inventions and understanding them and basically be able to use them to the best advantage for your team and for his, the character. They are geniuses that are masters of modifying and using technology as it is needed within whatever situation is arising. 
Now, the field medic would be great if you are a dedicated hero. They're the masters of healing and the masters of medical knowledge. When you're out somewhere like a battlefield or the wilderness and you get into a situation where you need to be healed or looked after by someone, you want a field medic there. They can take whatever tools are at hand in whatever situation is at hand and they can perform miracles beyond what you can believe using the tools at hand in order to save lives. They are masters of making sure that you live another day in these circumstances that are probably not good for you to live another day. Probably pretty bad for you, pretty hard for you to survive. Now, Investigator is the other one which you might want to be a dedicated he hero in order to take. They are masters of both investigation and deductive reason. Reporters, journalists, private eyes make great investigators. They know how to use their deductive reasoning in order to solve a mystery and overcome some kind of problem that is facing them. Find out the truth, the root of the matter of what's going on. Now, personality is, very gr is great for a charismatic hero. A personality is a master of pretty much most of the charismatic based skills, but basically of using their charisma to the best of their ability. Oftentimes they find themselves in the public eye, that they're either famous or they're being acknowledged by people for some reason. They have this public image which they use, their charisma and their attractive personality, to get people on their side. This is all to basically not only put forth their own normal careers or normal lives, but it also they use it to their more clandestine materials for whatever organization or group that they're working for. They can sort of do that on the down low because they have built up these sort of daytime surface connections that they can also master using them below the surface. And finally is the negotiator, the other one for the charismatic hero. They're masters of, ba of negotiating a situation of mastering when to make deals and when to change deals and when to settle a deal. Effectively, situations where you might have business deals, negotiations between disputes that you have to settle, hostage situations. A negotiator is great in these circumstances where they know how to make the deal properly, how to negotiate it down to the point in time that it is respectful for whatever sides. It is proper to getting to the point that they want this situation to get to when to change the deal, and of course when to back away in the right moment, when to basically say, this deal's not going great. Mastering all of these skills is important in the negotiator. So that's it for today. I introduced you to the 12 advanced classes. Now, each of the two of each advanced class matches well to one of your base classes, one of your hero classes. This doesn't mean you have to be that hero class to take this advanced class. You can have any combination of any of them that you want. Granted, it's easiest in that hero class in order to get into the advanced class. It's the quickest way to get there. And the abilities mesh together the best. This doesn't mean I couldn't be a dedicated hero that becomes a soldier. That's perfectly fine. If you have a build which you think works for that and a character that you think its abilities will work in an interesting way for, then go ahead and take it. I've just introduced you to these 12 advanced classes that are very interesting and different from each other that are more specializations of what materials and abilities that your characters are going to take. Moving your characters into the heroes, the characters, that you want them to be. In the next episode, I'm going to move away from advanced classes and begin to talk about game mastering in a D20 modern game. So if you have any questions, comments, anything you would say, anything you think I left out, please leave in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It shows for the channel, the empire, and the work I do. If you want to show some extra support, you can always check out my Patreon. Link in the description below. But regardless, until the next time, I bid you farewell.